Hello and welcome to this Excel video tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show us how to combine the text before and the text after functions to extract middle names. In the second example, I'm going to show us how to use the two new functions inside the powerful sum ifs to perform a dynamic multiple criteria calculation. So let's dive in. Now the two functions and the 12 orders are still in the better channel of M365 for Excel. Let's see our sample data set. Now in column A, we have full name and our goal is to extract the middle names. Now to do that, I'm going to come to cell C2. Now this, our data set is officially stored at an Excel table. So I'm going to type in equal sign text after plus the tab key. Now for the text, I'm going to give the value in cell A2. And we have this structured referencing syntax. Okay. Control Z. Now equal sign for the delimiter. I'm going to use double quotes with space in between. So double quotes with space. Then I close and let's evaluate by pressing the F9. Now we have Maddox answering, but we are interested in Maddox. So control Z to put it back in the edit mode. Now, after the equal sign, I'm going to deploy the text before function. Now this block is going to form the input value for the text argument of the text before function. So carefully come to this side and put in the comma. Now we need to specify the delimiter. Again, it's gonna be double quote with space in between. And then I close the text before and let's evaluate for the final time for this example, F9. Cool, we have Maddox. Awesome, Control Z, Control Enter. Wonderful. We have extracted the middle name. Now let's fill down. Control C. Come to column A. Control down arrow key. Come to column C. Control Shift up arrow key. Since we have copied the formula, Control V to paste. That's awesome. So we have extracted the middle names. Now let's switch to the sum ifs calculation and see how we can actually use the two new functions inside the sum ifs for dynamic multiple criteria calculation. Now, in the data sheet, we have this is data and we have officially stored as an Excel table and the name of the table is data. Now in the calc sheet, we want to create a cross tabular calculation. So we have the product in the rows and the state in the column. Now we have a little drop down here. Okay, it contains all the unique cryptocurrency because we have a column called cryptocurrency in our main source data. So let's come back here and let's write our sum ifs calculation equal sign sum ifs. Now the name of our table as we know is data. Then I want to point to the sales column. Then I close the square brackets, comma, and for the criteria range one, I want to point to the product column. So data, then open the square bracket, product, press the tab key, close the square bracket, comma. And for the criteria one, now this actually is spill range, so we have the pound sign. So I can actually specify all of them once, then comma. For the criteria range two, I want to point to the state column so data name of the table open the square bracket and they want to point to state close the square bracket comma and for the criteria two this also the spill range so we have b3 pound sign so give me the entire range then comma now for the criteria range three i want to point to the cryptocurrency column again name of the table first open the square bracket and then crypto currency close the square bracket comma now this is where we actually want to see how we can actually use the two new text before and the text after function now we're actually trying to point to the cryptocurrency that is available in this cell a1 okay it could be dodge it could be btc and so on but when i give the entire value in cell a1 and i close the bracket definitely i'm going to get errors okay it's not going to work because we are interested in this partial 
you know, value here, that is the partial referencing, okay? So I'm going to F2 to, to put it in the edit mode, then backspace. Now, this is where I'm going to throw in the text, text before, then text after, then for the text, give the value insert A1, comma. For the delimiter, double quote with the space in between, close the text after, comma. Now, for the text before, we want double quote with space in between close the text before then we can close off the sum ifs now all things being equal this should work now before we do let's quickly come here and evaluate okay the criteria three when i press f9 cool we have been able to point to dogecoin cryptocurrency inside the cell a1 and that's going to work. Control Z. Now, Control Enter. Absolutely awesome. So, we have the total sales for laptop and for the state of California $119,940. Now, when I switch to, let's say, another cryptocurrency by choosing Ethereum, it recalculates and we have the formula working. And let's switch to, let's say, BTC everything update automatically so we have been able to use the text before and text after inside the powerful song its function so i hope you enjoyed this video if you do you can like share and comment and of course consider subscribing to this channel thank you and bye for now cheers